Just landed in Rapid City, South Dakota. We got about a two hour drive up to camp and the hunting begins tomorrow. Obviously, we're gonna have to set in our rifles later on uh, this afternoon. So we'll catch you later again. Take care. Good. Well, we finally made it and we're going to be setting in our rifles. Like I always emphasize in my videos, always shoot your rifle. It's not about how good you are, but the elevation changes. So you can be high, you can be low, you need to make sure. Two to three bullets, that's all you need. So we're going to shoot and go back to the lodge, get some dinner, get some rest, and tomorrow morning the hunt begins. You're good, Phil. You're good. What'd I hit? You're good. In the center, two inch high. Two inch high? Yeah. All right, let me shoot again. That's not much. What? That's not much. All right, it's uh, about 6.30 in the morning, uh, first day hunt here in Wyoming. We're going to be heading out now with the guide, Zach. It's going to be uh, Anthony and Cosmo. So they're going to be shooting. I'll be filming the hunt this morning. So stay tuned because we have just begun our exciting hunt. You ready, Zach? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Yes. We're ready. Here we go. Let's go. Right now, they're probably only six months old.
yo. All right, we just uh, saw a group of antelope way down the valley. So we're going to uh, put a nice stalk. It looks like a good buck. So we're gonna, we're gonna see how close we can get to them. And hopefully within, within a little bit, we're gonna get one down and film it. So we'll be back later. I just shot an antelope about 200 yards away. Uh, he was sitting down. We had to wait for him. He was laying down, so it took a little time for him to get up, of course. But finally, he walked. He got up, walked to the left a little bit, and shot him. Yeah. So we're gonna go retrieve him now. Trophy Plus Outfitters, this is what you get. I want to thank Mike Watkins for allowing us to come here. He's got a great establishment. Fantastic guide right here standing behind me, Zach. And uh, the accommodations are great. The food is good. The sleeping quarters, everything. This is, uh, we saw at least uh, 20 antelope today so far and we finally snuck up on this one. We had to sit a little while, but we finally got them. 
So it's uh, Gosmo's turn now. <laughs> it's, he's next to uh, All right. to shoot. So you want a good antelope hunt book with wild trophy hunts. They'll, they'll set you the right way. Well, once again, we're up here in Wyoming. This time we're up in Colony, Wyoming. And as you can see, they got plenty of antelope. Got Anthony over here, second hunt that he booked with me and the second antelope that he shot with me. And I filmed them two times already in, in two years. We have Cosimo, uh, Cosimo Panetta from New York, another client of mine. He's gonna be hunting next. And once again, when you're looking to book a hunt, give us a call, look at our website, wildtrophyhunts.com. I'm here with outfitter Mike Watkins with Trophy Plus Outfitters. This man, he knows what to do when it comes to antelope hunting, mule deer hunting and white tail deer hunting. So just give us a call. We'll answer any kind of questions. And his guides are beyond professional. We got Zach, as you could see, he put a beautiful stalk. Here it is, results. And that's what I look for when clients book with me. So stay tuned because we got another hunt coming up. All right. Good.
Hey folks, here we are with Cosimo. Shot his first antelope. He booked with me while trophy hunts. Cosimo, you did a fantastic job. This so was it 300 yards or was it? 385 they got. 385 yards. Shot him. He went over the hill. We didn't see him run anymore. So we just wanted to wait about 20 minutes, half an hour, you know. And uh, sure enough, we go over the hill and there he is laying down. This is a beautiful trophy up here in Wyoming with Trophy Plus Outfitters. Give us a Look call. Us up at the website, wildtrophyhunts.com. Give me a call. Give Mike Watkins a call. We're here to help you out and to bag a trophy animal. This is, this is exactly what I've been looking for. We put a stalk for about, I'd say, four hours and... It was worth it. It was worth it, yeah. It was, right? Yeah, it was worth it. Very nice. So, congratulations again. Thank you. All Thank right. You, we got two days left. I need to hunt. I'm going to get my camera guy, Anthony, now behind the camera tomorrow morning. And hopefully, we're going to get some action. So, stay tuned. We'll be back right after these messages. Yep, he's right over there. I don't know. All right, this is what's going on now. They're field dressing Cosmo's antelope. So Anthony told me there was a buck out there in the field with his binoculars. We couldn't really, couldn't even really see that well. So we took out the spotting scope that the guide Zach has, and uh, he looks like a shooter. So once they're finished field dressing, we're gonna get into the truck. He's probably two miles away from here, um, and then put a stalk. So hopefully, if we get one tonight. I can sleep late for the next two days, so <laughs> we're good, right? We're good, we're good. All right, we're good. Get it done. So stay right. tuned, because we have not finished. Go. Well, we just got our antelope picked up. We, uh, we shot at it once. It wasn't a very easy shot, and uh, missed it, and he didn't seem super spooked. He just kind of ran over the hill, so we kind of just dogged along behind him. And we finally caught up to him. He was about close to 300 yards when we first saw him. But he was just gradually walking away. And finally, we got set up on the backpack. And I ranged him, and he was 387 yards. And he uh, Cosmo shot. And we could tell he was hit. We couldn't tell how bad he was hit, but we could tell he was hit. And he went into a little draw. So we waited for a little while. And, and uh, we got him loaded and pick up and we're on to some other antelope right now. They're all the way down there. Yeah, zoom in, all the way down there. You can zoom in. That's a far shot. That's like 800, 900 yards. I'm not going to shoot that The much. good thing here is the sun is going to be to their faces. So that's the first thing. The second thing is there's no wind. It died down. So without wind, I could do three, 400 yards with this 270. I got the Browning X-Bolt. I shot three antelopes already with it. So let's see what Zach wants to do. And uh, we've got about half an hour left of shooting time.
Oh, shit. got him! Keep filming. <laughs> keep filming! Keep filming! Keep filming! <laughs> oh, I tried him on the video. Keep filming. <laughs> Sorry, Philippe. No, 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 no. <laughs> Come on, let him kiss you. He's good. Philippe. He's good. He's good. It's old natural. Oh He's good. man. <laughs> I don't know what to say. My, my, my adrenaline's right, shaking right? me right now. How far was the shot? But 250. 253. 253 yards. Wildtrophyhunts.com. Give us a call. You're still a kick, you know? Trophy Plus Thank Outfitters, you. Mike Watkins. Thanks a lot, Mike. Thank you. Uh, and a big thanks to my guy ahead, Zach, Zach right now. Oh, Zach. Oh, nice I, shooting. I, I, thank you. Gotcha. I have been with many guides. You not only look professional, but you are professional. Oh, thank you. Look this you way, you're Zach. a hard worker. <laughs> this guy's a hard worker. Sure is. Oh man, I can't believe it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. That was a good shot. Thank you, thank you. Good job, good job. Thank you. Now it's got a tackle. That's 13 inches. They all look the same. Yeah, they're all going to be the same up here. Okay, we're going to go. Come on. Let's go look at this antelope. Let us go there for a moment. Huh? Like this well. Okay. I'm gonna stop. Yeah. There he is. Look at him. Look at him. Look where I shot. Look at the shot. Dead center in the shoulder. 250 yards. I aimed right here. That's where I aimed. I can't believe this. Look at this. I got the horn of the SST 270 caliber. Yeah, but here's the hole. October 7th, 2015. I have been coming up to Wyoming for a few years now. I work with a great outfitter, Mike Watkins, with Trophy Plus Outfitters. I'm Filippo Saglimbeni, the owner of Wild Trophy Hunts, where we book hunting trips of a lifetime. I've had this company for over six years now, and we keep getting stronger. We keep growing. This is a beautiful specimen here up in Wyoming. It's an antelope. Beautiful 13 inch, nice cutters on it, mature male, that's what I'm looking for. It was a 250 yard shot. I got the Browning X Bolt 270 caliber, 130 grain Hornady SST. One shot there and I dropped them. Got it on film and uh, I don't know what else to say. I'm a little bit uh, overwhelmed right now. Um, we're gonna take some pictures now and head back to the lodge and tomorrow morning we go see the butcher. Once again, if you're looking and booking a hunt, whether it's antelope, white tail, black bear, any North American animal, give us a call. We'll take care of you. We've been with these outfitters. We've hunted with these outfitters. Well, before we field dress this nice antelope, I just want to give Zach a big thank you. Zach, you did a lot today. Thank you. And uh, I appreciate it. We, we put a beautiful stalk on it, and he, he just knows the layout of the properties. And that's the key in success. So besides that, you gotta know your rifle. You have to know where you're shooting at. So without further ado, we're gonna get this on the truck, have some dinner. So stay tuned because we still have more things coming up. We just to spot a nice buck. We're gonna try to drive it around, see if we can stalk him. If we get lucky, maybe we'll get a shot. 
Andere und das Kapitel ist nicht mehr mal schauen. Yes! Is the hand? Yes! The Over here! <laughs> yes! I don't think we should. You see that fucking door how she picked us up? No, it's a boss. That motherfucker. I should have been Can't believe boss. it, folks. He's Roberto dead. just put a beautiful shot on a beautiful buck antelope. Uh, 250 yard shot. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Let's go take a look and see how nice it is. We're going away. We passed a couple of antelope. Last night, this morning, um, Tommy said, don't shoot if you're not happy, wait, we find a good one, and I'm very happy with this. We shoot a really beautiful antelope. My guy is really, really good, Tommy. Well, this is our second day up in Colony, Wyoming. Yesterday, we had three kills, and uh, finally today, Roberto Panetta, which is Cosimo's brother, he shot this beautiful antelope. Uh, Roberto, you did a good job. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I'm very happy. I want to thank. thank you. I want to thank Mike Watkins with Trophy Plus Outfitters. His guides are phenomenal. His lodging and hunts are exceptional. And the food, excellent. Yes, we want to thank Esther too for her food. And remember, look and us up online, wildtrophyhunts.com. Booking hunting trips of a lifetime. Give us a call. Send us an email. Even send us a text. Myself or Mike will help you out. Wyoming Antelope, book it for next year, 2016.
Welcome all. Here we are with outfitter Mike Watkins with Trophy Plus Outfitters. Mike, hey. we had an excellent week. I can't thank you enough. Um, I just loved your, your lodge, your establishment, your guides, your wife, the cook. We had an exceptional week. We're able to film four good kills, and that's very important. And uh, I'm looking forward to coming back next year. Well, we're looking forward to having you. Thank you. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about your outfit, how long you've been doing it, and so on? Well, we've been at this location since 2001. Uh, I started outfitting in 1990. Fortunately, I had a job then, so I could pay the bills. But it's gotten better and better, and, and I still have another job, but uh, it is my main source of income. I live here year-round. Uh, I'm always out looking at the animals, so it just gives me a big advantage over guys that aren't. We outfit for deer and antelope, and that's our, our bread and butter, too, and that yeah. we live right on the border, so we can hunt Wyoming or Montana, or guys can hunt both states, and it works out really well for us. One thing I, I know is that I can't control everything, but I can't control where you sleep, what you eat, and your surroundings while you're here, and I want those to be good, and yep. everything else will come together. Well, there you have it. Look us up online, wildtrophions.com. Give me a call. We're here to help you. Book a nice hunt for antelope, white-tailed deer, and mule deer. We're able to hunt two deer, Montana and Wyoming, if that's needed. But give us a call. Ask us any questions. We're here for you. Shoot again. Shoot again. Shoot again. Shoot again. Oh, hold on. Eh. Morning folks, welcome to Wild Trophy Hunts. I'm Filippo Saglumbeni, owner, do some antelope hunting. One of my clients, Carlo. And this is our first morning, our second season up here with Trophy Plus Outfitters, Mike Watkins, the outfitter. So we got our guide, Kevin, today. We're gonna do some filming, we're gonna do some hunting. Tomorrow we got five guys coming in from New York and we're gonna be doing filming and more hunting. So stay tuned. We're gonna have some good action today. You ready, Carl? I'm ready. It's nice and brisk out. It's 30 degrees out. We're ready for the morning hunt. Let's do it. All right, let's go. on your right elbow. Yeah. Reload, reload. Reload. You're gonna get in there. You having fun, Carl? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I never thought it would be this hard, buddy, tell you the truth. <laughs> 
A lot of times it's not. <laughs> yeah, I'm just not comfortable shooting at that distance. So, uh, the afternoon is a different story. Uh, they just uh, kind of uh, running on us this morning. Yeah? Obviously, uh, they're a little wise right now. So, I got a couple decoys, so we're going to try uh, getting a little closer if we have like open ground. So, I got a decoy for Filippo and one for uh, me and Carlo. So, Carlo can stand in behind me, I'll hold the decoy and we'll sneak up on him. Sounds like a plan. Got him, reload! Got him. Reload! Broadside, put another one in him. Or go ahead and put another one in him. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> you got him! <laughs> you got him! Good job, Carlo! He's down, baby! We got him with not one but with two! Yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, baby, brown! Turn around, turn around! Brown is down! Turn around! Go, wow. God, trophy wow. hunt! <laughs> Woohoo! And thank you, brother! <laughs> All right, Carlo. All right, thank you. All right. Thank you, Wild Trophy Hunt. And my guide here, Kevin, helped me out big time. Didn't give up on me. <laughs> Never. Thank you very much. I'm very happy today. Look Wild at, Trophy look, Hunts. Look at the thickness on that animal. Yeah, there you go. Well, here we are up in Wyoming with Trophy Plus Outfitters, Mike Watkins. And one of my clients, Carlo Lobianca. Carlo, congratulations. Thank you very much, Philip. First, first time antelope hunter. We had a bit of a rough start in the morning. Uh, we saw a lot of antelope, but you know, three, 400 yards, he wasn't comfortable with shooting that distance. So Kevin, our guide said, don't worry about it. We're gonna get closer. So we went back for lunch, rested, and came back out this afternoon and bam, here he is. This is a beautiful specimen. We're hunting in Colony, Wyoming. This is an antelope, also known as a pronghorn. They got the cutters here. So this, as you can see, has mass width on it and nice curvature here. Just beautiful trophy, probably three and a half years old. And down he went, about a 100 yard shot, 125 I think, we clocked it. Um, using your, what gun were you using today? Uh, this is a uh, Browning x 308 using a 150 grain bullet and I'm really really excited uh, to you know uh, harvest this beautiful animal and I want to thank uh, Filippo my good friend from Wild Trophy uh, hunting and it couldn't be possible with my uh, without my uh, guide Kevin yep. thank you very much no so, problem guys so if you're looking to book a hunt out here in Wyoming for antelope give us a call go on our webpage wildtrophyhunts.com you can even text me and I'll set you up with Mike Watkins and this is what you're going to get. 100% opportunity. It's up to you to know your rifle. We're going to get this uh, field dressed and uh, it's my turn to hunt, of course. And wish and, you luck. Oh, we'll see what happens. And Thank to all you. out there who want to do this hunt, give this man a call. You will not be disappointed. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you later.
Carla shot, hit it once, nailed it. Follow up shot, put him down. So I put another one in him. Simple. Right, Carlo? There you go, Kevin. <laughs> Thank you. If it wasn't for that man and this guy filming, it wouldn't all be possible. One shot, one shot. Thank deal. you. Now it's time to fill tag number two. That's right. You guys ready to sneak up on some animals? <laughs> they work. Okay, well, it's my turn to hunt now. And uh, Kevin, the guide, he got a decoy, which actually helps out in stalking the antelopes. We got about a 500 yard shot right now. I want to get at least a 300, 350. Let's hope for the best. Ready? Let's go. Let me see if I can see my scope. Straight ahead? Uh, yeah, straight ahead. They're walking right into the group right now. You gonna take the shot? No, not yet. We gotta, we gotta get one out in the open here. 307. Okay. You know when you're ready. Are you recording? Yep. Cock him, yeah. with, the, cock him with the range finder. Yeah, yeah. 307. Okay. Go for it. That one was low. That one was low, but he didn't move anywhere. Yeah, I got him. He's there. Uh Boom. Okay, hold on. Boom. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! 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 That's what I thought about. Wild trophy hunts. Book your hunting trip with me. Book your hunting trip with Mike Watkins, the outfitter. We got Kevin right over here. Carlo. <laughs> Good shot. <laughs> Way to go. Nice shot, Felipe. Way to go, man. That's what you call hunting. Two down. Zero to go. There we go. <laughs> That's what I like. I'm now using, the fun begins. I'm using my 270 once again, 130 grain, uh, SST, Hornady. Just gets the job done. Loopold, Vary X3 scope, 3 to 10 by 40. And uh, in this instance, I used it up to 10 power. And uh, that's it. Well, folks, here we are. First day hunt. Second antelope down. This morning, my good friend, Carlo La Bianca. <laughs> Shot his first antelope. As you can see, this is a beautiful, mature antelope. Uh, he's got the width, the mass, he's got the length, he's got the cutters. And, um, extremely happy. Big thank you to Mike Watkins with Trophy Plus Outfitters and Kevin here, my guide. Did an excellent job, very professional. And this is what you get when you book with Wild Trophy Hunts. So give us a call, visit us on our website, wildtrophyhunts.com. Got two days left. I got more clients coming in. So that means we're going to be doing more killing and more filming. Beautiful, man. Look at this. Okay. Well, folks, Kevin and the guide, he finished field dressing the antelope. We're going to put it in the truck and we're going to head to the butcher. I'm going to have it caped. And my good friend, Fred Barilla from Wild Memories Taxidermy, will be mounting my animal, my antelope, and Carlo's antelope as well. See you in a bit. Just seeing a nice buck in the middle of these prairie dogs. We'll try to close the distance on it. It popped up. It went right over the hill. There's a trailer right there, horse trailer. He's on the other side of that trailer. We're gonna try to use that as some cover and close the distance. We're gonna get in within bow range on this guy.
Yeah! Nice. That's how it's done. Five. H I told you, I told you bow range. What are you using over there? Seven now? millimeter Winchester Short Mac, but we're in bow range. Look at that. Well, here we are again. My good friend, good client, Pasquale Carino, or Pat Carino as they call him. Pat, I'll hold the horns for you. Philly, thank you, Philly. Let me tell you, man, great shot. His whole group so far, great shooters, and that's what we want to see. Uh, we put an excellent stalk, our guide, Levi, excellent guide. All the guides here are excellent. I've hunted with them, I've filmed with them, and Everything's been great. It's been a pleasure. There you go. He All finished right. it off. Lodge we, is beautiful. Guys are great. Philly's great. And uh, come home successful. That's it, And a uh, new experience. And another great time. Philly, thank that's you. It. Philly. Hey, listen. Um, excellent hunt. Excellent. And this is his first day. So we are doing pretty good so far. So we're going to take some pictures, field dress them, and off to the butcher we go. Great times. Thanks to Filippo, Trophy Plus, Hunting Lodge, our uh, great uh, guide, Zach. It was a nice hunt. We tracked them down and, and we got them. Map, map, map. Let's wait and see if they stop. Map. Don't rush it. Yeah, they stopped and we'll... They're in the pile. That very back one's a doe if you want. That back one? I'm on here. Very back one. It hit her. She's down. down. She's down and she took the spill. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. Nice job, boy. <laughs> nice yeah, job. flip. First go, right? <laughs> First go. All right, there we go. Now, now we're legit. Now you got to do it again. Go. You're rolling. Welcome again, Wild Trophy Hunts. We're up in Wyoming with Mike Watkins, Trophy Plus Outfitters. One of my clients just shot his first antelope, Mike from New York. This is a female. Females do have horns. They're smaller. They look a little bit, you know, irregular, however you want to call it. But um, excellent shot. They were a little bit jittery. But uh, once she stopped, he placed the shot right on her shoulder and just dropped her.
He's a dandy. All right, well, welcome again. Here we are with one of my clients, Matt, from New York. He's with the Big Rack Hunting Club. Group of guys who's trying to shoot every animal in every state. So, so far, they've been, they've been doing pretty well. This is Matt's first kill, first harvest with the rifle. Uh, he's always out with the bow. This time, he decided to change it up a little bit. And he decided to book with me, Wild Trophy Hunts, and Mike Watkins with Trophy Plus Outfitters. Matt... You may not know it, but you shot yourself one heck of a trophy. All right? I mean, look at the size of these cutters. He's got these kickers that are coming out of these horns. Just the mass on the base of those horns. You got it all. I mean, that's, that's great luck. Uh, the shot was excellent, 250 yards. Unfortunately, I didn't get it on film. I was filming the other group. And for me to say, don't shoot, wait, 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 he, he would have missed this opportunity because he was ready to leave. They were already alerted. They saw us. You have 30 eyes looking at us, you know. So it's all right. We got the the harvest, the retrieval, and that's what counts. Great job, man. Thank you. Very impressed. Big thank you to Scott, our guide. Very professional. Uh, he knew the property, knew exactly how to put the spot in stock. As you can see in the footage, there's no trees or brushes here. So you have to really know the layout so you can sneak from the left, from the right, from the bottom, from the top. And it just worked out. Mm -hmm.